Yo guys, what is up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video here, and I am here with what is probably the most hilarious trot ever. Meet the bulb dog, Trot. I feel like there's got to be some sort of music or some sort of song based on this, because they just kind of cutely follow you. But, anyways, right now we are reviewing the bulb dog. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about what is good in a bulb dog. So I've got a bunch of them right here. You can see they come in all kinds of colors, all the same shape, all have that hilariously goofy tongue wag, which is, just, you know, it's just going to make you laugh, in all honesty. It really does have to. I, I feel like that's like screenshot worthy right there. Oh, maybe not. There we go. That's cute. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cute. There we go. Perfect. All right, anyways, continuing. Sorry, I got distracted. So, what do you do with these guys? So, first and foremost, they've got some interesting stats that a lot of people don't use. First and foremost, this guy. I usually don't think about this until afterwards. I'm like, man, I wish I would have done that. You can get the health on a bulb dog pretty high. Of the four light pets, they have the highest health stat, so you can actually raise it to quite a stupid level. It's not worth regenerating or using charge regen, and it's not worth the emission range. You don't get that much out of it. Where the Bulldog excels is how much charge capacity it can hold. So, now some of you are sitting here like, what does that even mean? So, what it means to have charge capacity is on a map like Aberration, you have to have light and light pets. The easiest to access is Bulldogs. Now, you don't want to breed Bulldogs, honestly, because, well, for lack of a better word, they're hard because they don't have eggs. But, what you do, you put them on your shoulder and you activate something called light. And this light does a couple of things. First and foremost, it protects you from any reaper. <clears throat> now, if there is a reaper nearby and you have a bulldog on your shoulder, you can pretty much shred that reaper with anything. I have in PvP situations before just pulled out a shotgun while I was being chased by a reaper and uh, pulled turn on my bulldog. Bye bye reaper. And that works really well. Also, it serves as like a little mini lantern so you can see a little bit better because without this, it's pretty dark right here as you can see, but lighting it up and I can see quite a bit better. Now the last thing is on Aberration, there is something that you can have uh, in the blue zone and Nameless will continue to spawn unless you have a Bulldog on your shoulder or any light pet for that matter. But still, Bulldog is probably the easiest accessible one because he's the first one you can actually get in a PVP situation. You just turn out and you're on green zone and boop, you got yourself a Bulldog. But really, not much to learn about Bulldogs, other than they have a really high health stat, really high capacity, and they're pretty freaking cute, so that kind of helps them out. Alright, I hope this little video is kind of, I mean, I know it's a kind of a worthless video because this one's like, the Bulldog is kind of useless, but still, they're cute. Alright, Teacher's Game 2.